Good morning. So let's begin our lesson with a question. Okay, why is the blackboard color green? Bakit tinatawag natin siyang blackboard kahit na ang kulay niya ay green? Okay, so let's answer this question as we go along with our discussion. Okay, so we are now in the chapter 14, the maximizing the use of the overhead projector and the chalkboard. Okay, so according to Huris Mann, a noted American educator, indeed, in no country have I ever seen a good school without a blackboard or a successful teacher who did not use it frequently. Tama naman, okay? Halos lahat ng mga teachers ay gumagamit talaga ng blackboard. Okay, so let us quickly visit the brief history of chalkboard. So in 18th century, students used their own mini boards. Okay, maliit. Okay, mini boards made of slate or painted wood and these were black. Okay, originally. Okay, and in 1800, the massive wall-sized chalkboard arrived when a Scottish headmaster named James Pillion wanted his students to draw maps. Okay, kasi hindi na kakasya yung mini boards na magdo-drawing sila doon ng maps. So, eventually, lumalaki na yung uh, mini boards na ginagamit nila dati. Okay, so in 1815, the massive writing space were common to earn their own name, blackboard. Okay, and the color is really black that time. And in 1840, a giant pieces of slate were being shipped to American and European schools. And in 1960, some companies sold steel plates coated with green porcelain based enamel instead of the traditional dark slate. So, dito pala nagkakakulay green na yung dating black na board. Okay? But then, we are used to call it black. Okay? Because it is black originally. And at that point, people started using the word chalkboard as a more accurate descriptor. But blackboard still stuck around. Until now. We are... Uh, calling it blackboard. Okay? So, this is a sample of the slate. It's a dark metamorphic rock. And then, these are some examples also of the slate pencil. Okay? So, our learning outcome for today's discussion is uh, you are inspired expected to demonstrate how to use the overhead projector and the chalkboard efficiently and effectively. Okay, so we go to the definitions. The chalkboard is a flat vertical writing surface on which anything can be inscribed by means of a piece of chalk. Okay, we are all familiar with this chalkboard kasi mula pa lang sa elementary years, kindergarten years natin, we are used to uh, make learning through this uh, chalkboard. Okay, the chalkboard is dynamic, changeable, sensitive, immediate, and completely in the classroom moment. Okay. Now, uh, these are some of the practices and procedures, no? Uh, write clearly and legibly on the board, okay? It, your writing should be clear and it has to be uh, readable, no? To your students, clearly and legibly. And, okay, so two to four inches high chalkboard writing size. Okay, wag masyadong malaki, wag din masyadong maliit. Okay? Yung tama lang at klaro ng mga estudyante mo. Okay. 
So, make a hard copy of your chalkboard diagram or outline. Okay? Mas maigi pa din yung may sinusundan kang outline. And then, don't crowd your notes on the board. Bakit? Kasi, malilito na po yung mga students natin seeing the board na napupuno na ng mga information. Okay? So, um, huwag masyadong paramihan ng mga isusulat. Gaya ng mga examples dito, oh. Okay? Ang dami ng mga ano, nakaka-confuse na yan sa mga bata natin. Okay? Another practices and procedure, make use of colored chalk to highlight key points. Okay? As you can see in the example, uh, gumagamit siya ng yellow chalk sa kanyang mga titles or headings. Okay? So, mas attractive siya tingnan. Catchy, kumbaga, sa mga estudyante natin. And then, uh, do not turn your back to your class while you write on the board. Bakit? Uh, kasi yung mga students natin, kailangan talaga yung attention natin sa kanila uh, all the time. Kasi uh, mag-iingay na yan at gagalaw-galaw na yan. Okay, so we have to do uh, our class, but then we have also to to focus our attention to our students. Okay, so second here for order and clarity, start writing from left side to the right side of the board. Okay, you start from the left, going to the right. Okay. And for writing exercise, make use of lines on the board for guide. Sharpen your chalk for a good line quality. Okay? Pwede mo naman siyang gawan ng lines. And then, and stand with your elbow high, then move along as you write. Use dots as aiming points to keep your writing leveled. Okay. Look at the board work from all corners of the room. Okay? And this is very simple, no? If there is a glare on the chalkboard at certain time of the day, there is two remedies. You could put a curtain on the side, on the window, or request for a carpenter to mount the chalkboard to a little concave from left to right. So, ito na po yung modern na mga chalkboards sa mga classrooms, parang nakaano na siya, hindi na siya flat. Okay? Parang naka-curve na siya ng konti. To, um, to avoid this, uh, some glares na hindi na, ma, hindi na masyadong clear, clear yung tingin ng mga bata. Kasi naano siya sa uh, lightings. Okay? And yes, like in the example, Okay, so ito na yung ano natin today, no? Yung mga chalkboards sa mga classroom. Parang naka-curve na siya ng konti. And then, if you have, if you need to have a board work in advance or that need to be saved for tomorrow's use, write, please save and cover the same with curtain. So, so marami na po akong classroom na napuntahan. Uh, mostly talaga gumagamit na ng mga curtains. Okay? And then, uh, make full use of the chalkboard. Okay? So, on the upper left, no? dito pwede mo ilagay yung mga objective mo in a day. And then, your questions here. And then, homeworks and feedback. So, in writing your chalk, no, uh, you can sharpen your chalk to uh, to good light equality. Okay, like this in the example, the chalk has been uh, sharpened. Okay, and then stand with your elbow high, move along as you write, and then use dots as aiming points. This keeps writing level. Okay.
and make all writing or printing between 2 and 4 inches high for legibility. Okay, na-discuss na po natin in the previous slide. When using colored chalk, use soft chalk so that it can be erased easily. Okay, para madali lang itong mabura. Okay, now we go to the different types of projector. So, it evolves din, no? Kasi noon, gumagamit pa tayo ng parang, parang cellophane ba yan? Okay, na doon natin nilalagay yung mga writings and then we put that, no? In a projector. Okay, so this is the, a bit history, no? Of the projector. Okay, so in late 1800s, magic lanterns projected images printed on glass lights. Oil lamps and candles serve as light source for the magic lanterns, according to the Magic Lantern Society. And in 1925, film strips, uh, yun pala tong name ng sinasabi ko kaninang parang cellophane, film strips were used to show educational films in the classrooms, serving as a predecessor of video cassettes, DVD, and Blu-ray technology. In 1960, Roger Appeldorn uh, created a machine that protect, projected the image of writing on a clear on a clear film in the early early 1960s and in 1980 a data projector takes signals from a video source such as a computer or television and projects an image on a projection screen in 1984 Inventor Jean Delgoff developed the first LCD or the liquid crystal display. Okay, and in 1987, it was originally developed in 1987 by Larry Hornbeck. Okay, this, this one. Yes, and okay. And um, the overhead projector, it is a projector having a flat, transparent top on which a sheet-like transparency is placed. An overhead mirror that reflects the image on the transparency to a screen. And a projector is an image or video projection device that can be projected onto a wider surface. This picture will be projected on a white screen or walls for a larger audience. At the film screening, the gadgets are a must. Parang ito na yung ginagamit natin today. Projector, okay? Now, we go to the advantages and disadvantages. The advantage of... Uh, projectors in the classroom. Easy to explain and share ideas. Bakit? Hindi ka na kailangan na magsusulat pa. Okay? So, it is just easy to, to share ideas. And then, helps create an engaging learning environment. Kasi bago, parang bago sa mga bata. Okay? And then, facilitates collaborative learning, more engaging, multimedia integration, convenience, and portability. For its disadvantage, uh, the cost. Okay. Parang mas uh, medyo may kamahalan. Okay. Uh, quite expensive and they also require additional equipment such as screens or whiteboard. Okay. Especially if the, the, the place or the venue is open. No? Hindi masyadong clear pag walang uh, mga additional equipment. The maintenance uh, need to be clean regularly, electricity, and they also need to be calibrated regularly. Medyo magastos nga. And then, theft. They're often uh, stolen. Kasi nga, uh, mataas yung value niya. And then, needs electricity. So, tips for using a projector in the classroom. 
Uh, first, make sure that most projectors are properly set and calibrated before using them. And then be aware of the potential for destruction when using a projector. Okay? And if students are not paying attention, or if the students are not paying attention, try pausing the lesson or turning off the projector. Use multimedia content sparingly and only when it is genuinely helpful. Overloading students with information can be overwhelming and counterproductive. Uh, kasi hindi na nila nadadigest yung mga information na uh, ibinigay mo. So, wag natin i-overload yung mga students natin. And then, have a backup plan in case the projector breaks or malfunctions. It is always a good idea to have an alternative lesson plan in case of technical difficulties. So, lalo na pag may mga presentation ka na hindi dapat makancel tapos uh, let us say na nagba-brown out sa lugar na yon or walang available na extension wire okay so you have to have a plan B okay kasi minsan talaga hindi compatible yung laptop mo sa projector or uh, sa dia lang nagma-malfunction yung projector okay So, tips for using a projector in the classroom. First, put only the main points of your topic. Wag natin ilahad lahat. Okay? Be cognizant of where you stand. Move the projector or screen into its optimal position. And then avoid putting in extraneous design. Yung hindi, uh, hindi masyadong... Uh, nakakatulong ng mga designs, wag mo nang i-sama. Okay? Make the images big and use legible font. Yung uh, madaling basahin ng mga font. wag yung mga difficult font na hindi masyado sa kalayuan. Okay? Okay. And then, um, another tips, uh, Keep fonts consistent. Okay, if you're using times or if you're using Arial, then Arial up to the end of the slide. Okay, do not do not mix other fonts. And then keep the lights off. Kasi mas clear yung presentation natin pag dim yung uh, lights natin. And then uh, use fewer words per slides. Wag nga natin i-overwhelm overwhelm yung mga students or yung mga audience natin. So, use fewer words lang. And then, consider the environment in which you will present your slide. Okay, so before you speak on that certain topic, be, be sure that you have... Uh, you know the, the venue, is it a closed door or an open and then masyadong uh, clear at saka yung presentation mo, kailangan dapat doon mo ipipresent sa closed door at dim yung mga lights. Okay, and then use art to help convey your message. So you can incorporate drawings that may explain the your ideas much better. Okay? Kasi yung mga audience natin or yung mga students natin nabuboard na sila sa napakadaming mga words. So, we can use pictures instead. Okay? So, that would be all. Thank you so much for listening.